War Pips is an auto battler RTS. A little bit of a deck builder in there, I guess. Uh, and it is available on Steam right now for $11.99. It is a pretty fun and very simple, very relaxing. We played a lot of auto battlers here recently, or at least several. Uh, and it's, you know, typically you just, they're pretty chill games. You just throw some stuff in and then, you know, just hopefully you hope, hope for the best. And if you fail, then, you know, hopefully you didn't have it on permadeath and all that stuff. So <laughs> you come out the other side and try again. Uh, in this game, there is a little bit of RTS elements that allow you to real time trigger events that happen, like deploying troops. Or even uh, in some cases, you actually have a turret that you can man and you can manually uh, clear through some troops. Uh, but for the most part, you're just focusing on the macro, not so much the micro. So it's an RTS, but more macro focused, where you mainly just deploy troops and all that. Uh, very, very fun, very simple, uh, very easy to get into game. Uh, that is just, you know, it, the, the, the game loop is so, uh, 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 it gives you just enough through, uh, for progress every time you, you finish a map uh, that it's, it's, you know, it's good. It's, um... Uh, 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 it's a little addicting. Just a little bit, though. Not too much. Like, you know, I'll think about it sometimes late at night. I'm like, oh, God, maybe I can put a little bit of time into it. Uh, but it's not so much like where it's like, oh, my God, I need to obsess over every single character and get their stats up and all that stuff because you don't have that level of detail. Uh, so first off, let's take a look at the loadout here. First, look at the map. <laughs> so I'm halfway through this campaign right now. Well, I'm sorry, not halfway. The enemy army strength, as it says here, uh, basically the enemies get more and more difficult as you complete operations. Today, I'm hoping to get through one, two, and maybe three, because I don't know what's here. Uh, I've already battled through everything. I'm trying to, to completionist, kind of get everything done here. Um, and then we could get here, and you can see that there is a uh, enemy line of Tanya, a hero, powerful anti-infantry elite fighter. So we want to make sure that we are like hooked up before we get to that point. Um, so we're gonna do this, this, and then go here. We can see if we could be successful here. You can see that in each one of these areas I'm clicking on, there's different enemies and different rewards that you get. Uh, there's barbed wire, there's pit pups, which are basically just dogs you release. Releases like five dogs or something, and they go and they swarm the enemy. Uh, a war pit, this is just a basic rifleman. Um, sharpshooters, buggies, and a war fighter. Basic units, pretty much. Uh, we'll go through some of these as, as we, as we, um, uh, play. Uh, but there's also some non-enemy combatants that you can put down, like, for example, sandbags. Uh, there's, or not non-combatants, I should say, not enemy. But, uh, you can put down sandbags, which basically just help give them cover. Um, there's also stim packs, so heal a little infantry. There's tear gas grenade. You can just, basically, you can launch that yourself. And that's where the real, the, the, that's where the, the, the RTS, the real-time strategy stuff kind of comes in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to build out your, your, your loadout. Uh, do you have any money? Let me see, 15, no, not 15 money. I don't really have a whole lot here. Um... Let me see. Sniper. Um, sniper's pretty good. I'm going to grab one sniper here. There's also some upgrades here, but I can't afford any of them. I already got, uh, see, extra health, which is this guy here. Uh, and I also have, uh, what is arms dealer slot four? Yeah, which basically just, it just unlocks one, two of these two slots. I'm going to grab this two, actually, while I'm here. This just basically continually gives me extra money to spend. Um, so it's got a very unique uh, gameplay uh, uh, in terms of, like, army uh, building uh, features in terms of like, how you can continue to grow your army. You can't just get in there and just deploy everything. You have to earn money. Uh, so what we'll do is first is go ahead and we're going to grab uh, a couple of soldiers. So this guy, this guy. Hopefully we can get through with just sniper and mercenaries. Mercenaries are really great because once you get to, once you upgrade your squad rank uh, to squad one, or I guess two, uh, then you can spawn two mercenaries for one supply. So they're kind of like zerglings in that regard. Uh, and so it, as, as such, uh, you can swarm, you can zerg the enemy pretty quickly once you get to level two and you get enough money and also supply um, uh, your supply counts uh, up high enough. So we're going to go ahead and boom, boom. Uh, we'll take, uh, I think we could probably get away with, let me see, what's this enemies here? Basically just a bunch of dudes. Okay, so let's go to the loadout. Like, no vehicles or anything crazy. We have no dogs. Dogs would have been pretty nice, actually, for this one. Um, let me see. Explosive drone. So we'll go ahead and get... We already have the oil thing out there. We'll do some barbed wire. Slows and damages enemy infantry vulnerable to vehicles. We don't have any vehicles. So that's perfect. So we'll take that. Uh, we'll leave the turrets. And then we'll take something for fun. Something fun. I guess we'll go ahead and take with this turret here. Even though I don't feel like we necessarily need it. Um, and then maybe one vehicle. There we go. Uh, just to overrun the enemy for fun. This is overkill. I feel like this deck is going to be super overkill, <laughs> but we're going to do it anyways. Uh, let me see. Let's see what's up. Da, da, da. What am I missing here? Mission good. Deploy. Okay. Oh, they do have enemies. Whoops. What was I clicked on? 
Oh, I was clicked, I was clicked ahead. Whoops. Yeah, I can't go there yet because I have to go here. Uh, so they do have vehicles, and I think my loadout is still fine for that, except for we're going to get rid of the barbed wire, um, and we're not going to replace it with the um, with the sandbags. I feel like we don't necessarily need that. So let's go in. Establishing uplink. Connected. Game's very basic in visuals, so it loads pretty fast. They really love the depth of field in some of these cutscenes. You'll see whenever I blow this thing up, it's like it goes in and can't focus for like a second. It's kind of funny. All right, here we go. So your uh, movement keys basically is move your camera back back and forth. Your W and S basically zoom in and out. Um, so it's a very basic kind of setup. You cannot pause as far as I know. Can you pause? Let me see. Uh, uh, I guess you can pause that way. Um, so over here, bottom left corner. Let's do this. Bottom left corner because we have to we have to talk about stuff first. Um, this is how many medals I have that I could spend. So I could spend these on either upgrading uh, my my rank. Or I can put it into uh, getting a boost of money, or I could up I could upgrade the amount of money I get for per boost, or I could upgrade my supply count. My supply count right now is three. So as you know, with mercenaries, it's one per until you get to rank two, in which case then it's going to be two per, for one. Pretty good deal. The turret could go up right away. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, I don't think. And then yeah, it doesn't cost anything. And then you could just basically use that to field the first few uh, a few waves. So I'm gonna do that now. There we go. We just have a couple guys coming. Let's go and take a look around here, see what we're dealing with. We have, you know, some good barricades and all that, some vehicles, some exploding barrels and all that. Look at the bottom. You see the farther away I get, accuracy, accuracy kind of moves up and down. So the closer they get, the better the accuracy, which means you can use this when some of the guys are way over here, but maybe it's smarter to just kind of save it because as you fire, you actually end up losing, uh, or you're building up heat. You can see that yellow bar building up there. So it's worth it just wait until they get closer and then just go ahead and pelt them. Now, you can see that there's a timeline uh, underneath right here. This timeline basically, let's stop real quick. So the timeline just shows basically the, it's the heat of, um, the, 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 it's like a heat map of how many troops you should expect to encounter. So we know we're going to get like a steady trickle of dudes coming and then we're going to have like a kind of a burst here and then a trickle of dudes and then a burst. Uh, and then once we get to this kind of hashed area that's underneath the menu here, that's where we're going to start to get um, like a big push. And once we get to the end, then they're gonna we're gonna get bombarded. Now I've never had to get to this point. The game seems relatively easy in that regard, um, but I am also like playing through the first campaign, so maybe. Um, so you know, hopefully we don't get there, but we'll see. Over here, in the bottom left corner, real quick, bottom left and bottom right, you can see there's a shield and, and a lightning bolt. The shield and the lightning bolt will allow you to manually control your troops to either uh, get a boost in defense. You see, order all units to take cover and defend, cover bonus and we weapon bonus. This one here is weapon accuracy and movement speed. So you can. We're going to four. Oh, I gotta put this out. Um, did I put it down anywhere? No. Boop. There we go. Got four. Yeah, we gotta get that. Yeah, they're gonna attack that. Of course they are. Get off my stuff, huh? There we go. Let it warm up or cool down. Cool down. Cool down. There we go. Can I get another one out there? Sure can. Just let just let it rake in money. So here we go. We're at four right now. So this is where we're gonna go ahead and go one, two, three, four. Bring that up a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit more defense. And then once these guys get close, when I feel like I'm getting a little overwhelmed, or if they actually hit that first, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna raise my supply. And then for, when I get the next metal, I'm gonna raise my supply, which is gonna happen very soon. There we go. So supply up, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, boom, boom, boom. Now we have a wave of dudes coming in. We can take care of this if we can. God, they're really going for my own fields here. Oh crap! Overheat. Damn. Damn. Let's go ahead and uh, next. Let me see. We have to wait for that to go all the way down. <sighs> so the problem is that that's not going to go away, right? So that's going to be a problem uh, long term. My troops are still moving, though. Let's go ahead and have defensive positions here. They have very low health. These guys are very, very weak. Um, which is why I just wait until I get the um, enough to deploy a lot at once. So this thing's about to come off of being overheat, uh, overheating. I'm going to go ahead and put one point in this. That way we get 75 per uh, per money push. So that way we can take advantage of that next. It's worth it to put at least a couple points in that for the longer matches. All right, so here we go. Good. Just, I'm just, just placating these guys just a little bit. Get my money, get my army up. Supply boom. I have a shitload of money and just unleash everything at once. Yeah, here we go. I decided one a lot of the matches was basically just Zerg, really. 
Clear these guys up here. And then I got another one. I can... Let me go ahead and raise this up. And then we have... We have a hot wave here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... If I could defend myself against all these guys, I'm going to turn around and deploy all of my dudes uh, at once. And see if I can do a push before we get to that, um, that hashed area on the timeline. Okay, hold on. Let's let this cool off a little bit. There we go. Okay, this is the wave here. It must be the vehicle there. That must be the, uh, the hot. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to deploy here in a second. Let's go ahead and do it now. Let's go, go, boop, 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 boop. There you go. So this right here, it says, uh, trade supply for cash. Basically, it's an emergency button you can hit, but you'd lose one supply permanently. So you don't necessarily want to do that if you can avoid it. So here we go. Lots of dudes coming right now. Um, just gonna raise the supply one more time. Just gonna put this here. Oh, it does clear up eventually. Okay, it just takes a lot of time. So it's gonna get four out, so we'll just see if we can't just do a little bit of suppressive fire here. Hoping that they don't necessarily make it this far. Keep that on supply. I'm just gonna keep these guys on D here if I can, and then I'll push them. There we go. A little more. A little more, a little more. Okay, we'll freeze that one more. We'll get ready. The rest of the money is gonna go towards spawning hella troops. Here we go, so we're pushing forward. We're just gonna try to zerg this thing before they get to their big push here. This is it. Yeah, we definitely got this. Let's look at the objective. Just just melting it. Oops, ran out of uh, boost here. Slowly build up over time, but we still got it. Here we go. Out of focus, in focus. Here we go. Okay, operation success. Enemy army strength has gone up. We got three rewards. What do we have? We have a war pip, a central rifle pip. We got some dogs, and we got some barbed wire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can use up barbed wire this next match. Now, once you use it, it's gone, right? Like, you, like that's why you have a loadout with numbers next to it. Right? So you actually, when you use something, it's going to be used. Uh, oh, you know what? I just noticed that uh, my vehicles went off the screen. I wonder if that's a... Okay. Can I scroll over with this, I wonder? I guess you could always just go like boom, 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 and then grab the vehicles you want and then put everything else back. So that's always an option. Okay. Well, you know, there's that. Um, let me see. What are we dealing with here on this next map? This is where, yeah, we're going to have all foot soldiers here. So we can... Um, I never deployed that vehicle, did I? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone because it you know it's again it's only a one-time use. So we're definitely gonna do barbed wire, but let's go and get mercenaries. It's gonna be like every single time we're gonna get mercenaries. Uh we'll do one war pip. Uh we'll do uh one of these guys, and then we'll do uh barbed wire. And 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 I don't think we need anything else. Although we probably should I wanna keep that tank for the last round. Um so let's go and grab the dogs here because they can be pretty handy. Let's go and move that, put that there, there we go. So we have dogs. So we're going all foot soldiers, no crazy, no funny business, nothing like that. Ooh, what is this guy? Defense turret, powerful short range command center defense turret, very high rate of fire. Oh, that sounds sick. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, let's see, upgrades. I'll probably should look at that first. All right. Well, hey, let's, um, I mean, should we try that? I mean, these are both kind of the same. Let's go ahead and try this thing. I've never used it before. There's a ton of different things you can get. You can only have one, by the way, if you notice that the, uh, the other turret we just used is, is actually hashed out. You're not allowed to get it. All right, here we go. Map start. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Let's go put this up. See what it does. So it's also controlled manually. Very a very short range. Oh, we're gonna push right away. Hmm, this is gonna be dangerous. We'll see what we get first. Oh boy. Well, you know, with that low percentage, it's actually still gonna be good because it's such a high rate of fire. So, yeah, we could just pelt these from here. Enemy wave approaching. If I could defend these guys without putting anybody down, I'll be fucking so, so happy. Oh, look at this. I already got four. Okay, let's go and put some stuff down here. We'll put this, uh, like here. Here. We'll switch back to my turret. Unlimited ammo. Just basically just watch your, uh, watch your heat. That's all. This is incredible. This thing is so good. I should have saved this for the last. I mean, this is their, this is one of their big pushes here. We're just gonna wipe these dudes. Come on. Come on. Watch my attempt. Watch my attempt. Kinda wanna see them go through this barbed wire here. Shot going all the way to fourth. Hell yeah. Let's see what happens. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, well that's enough. That's enough. Why? Lots of dudes over here. So we could just burst them down. Okay, now we're gonna start putting money into this. 
We got a good amount of money coming in. This this combo this setup comboed with the um, with something that just basically gives us free money every once in a while, like oil barrels or the oil derrick or whatever. That would have been a um, a good combo for sure because I could just kept these guys at bay, just continually upgrade stuff and just go from there. Like this is great. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, right after they're done with this wave, because I'm clearly going to be able to defend it. Um, I'm going to just deploy everybody and see if we can't just overrun them. It's a shame because we have all these things that we've, um, that we we were using in this deck. So, we are now, we've got another one. I'm just basically putting all those points into supply. Okay, the accuracy, or the, um, the heat buildup. We're, we're about the end at the end of this here. Let's go and put one of these down here. Make them work for it a little bit. Yeah, well, I could just came with just this. Although I can't obviously attack the base over here. Zero percent. Move a little closer. There we go. Yeah. Good soundtrack too. Like a good solid soundtrack. You know. So far, just about everything's been pretty good. I really like the kick. There's something about that kick that they're using. It's very, um, it's like very, uh, it's a trigger, right? Like a drum trigger kind of kick. Uh, very empty, very, like, there's not a lot of, like, oomph, necessarily. I, I do wonder, like, if in a, like, uh, if in the truck or something like that with, like, a, you know, a powered eight or something like that, if you kind of get a little bit of a thump out of that. But it's nice because it doesn't have any tonality to it. It's just, um, it's just like a snap. Just a snap. Like metal, you know? Like speed metal or something. Don't need a whole lot of bass in that drum. Don't need to like tone. Don't need to tune it like anything crazy. I just need to pop. This is amazing. <laughs> we're just gonna fuck these dudes so badly. Now that we're getting to that stage, here we go. Okay, so. Boom, boom. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead. We got 480. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and deploy dogs. And then all the dudes. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Dogs gonna rip them up. We got some kind of support if we can. If we can, can we? 46%? Not really. But my dudes are just gonna march over there. Speed up. Nah, I don't wanna speed them up like that. We could put. Once we move forward like this, we can actually start to reinforce the forward line here, which is kinda cool. Oh man, these guys are screwed. <laughs> these guys are so screwed. Just gonna melt this. Dang. -na 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 -na. Little, a little bit jingle there. Enemy army strength. We got lots of rewards. Here we go. Lots of stuff. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Broom. I think that that uh, uplink and connected thing. I think that's probably completely unnecessary. Like this thing is sitting on like a NVMe SSD uh, or M.2. So it's like, you know, there is no such thing as a loading screen in a game like this. <laughs> that's clearly an animation. Uh, here we go. So we have uh, we have trucks, we have shotgun, a close range, high dam damage enemy, and we have a warfighter, well trained, medium range soldier. So that tells me maybe we should try to whip out some um, long range stuff, turrets, um, and uh, 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 snipers, and all that. We're gonna get a lot of, of resources from this though. We could get a little bit of mission info if you want. A little bit, so let's see. It was, oh, it actually gives me the thing. I forgot about that. Dang it, we probably could have known this. Um, 165 meters, round duration 22 minutes. Difficulty is pretty high. We'll see about that. Uh, there's going to be something. This is going to be probably when the... Yeah, this is going to be when the Tanya... When Tanya deploys. And then we basically have this, this, and this. So it's not too bad. Uh, and then we get bond, 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 I'm sure. So let's go to load. Let's go to arms dealer. We've got 30 gold. Let's go and get... Uh, we'll get a vehicle because those are going to come in handy with this. Um, and I think we're good there. No upgrades to get. So, well, let's, uh, let's go and grab this. And we don't need another one of those. Yeah, nothing else to really get. So we're going to take... Uh, I think a mercenary is the obvious one. Uh, the sniper for sure. Tacticians are pretty good because they, they call in um, artillery strikes and all that stuff. So again, to kind of focus a little bit more on the long range. Uh, and then we'll bring in vehicle, vehicle. Just waste it all. Why not? <laughs> it's the last run of the day. Uh, and then we'll do... Uh, let's see. A turret. Have we seen this thing yet? Let me see. No. It launches a swarm of explosive kamikaze attack drones. Sure. And then for the last one, we'll do, we will do, we'll do a barrel. That way we get some money. Cool. Let's do this. Let's do this. Look at establishing uplink. Get out of here. There's no loading screens. Come on. Come on. 
All right, defend. Destroy. Whoa, look at this guy. Holy crap. All right, here we go. So first off, wow, it's red. Whoa, okay, this is, might actually be a challenge. Let's go and get this thing out. Okay, now some of these things are time gated, you notice. You're not gonna get access to some of these things right away. Uh, lots of mines over here too, oh boy. Okay, we'll just try to field as many of these guys as we can initially. Click on this, every time you click on this you get money. I'm waiting again until I get my four. Might as well go and throw this three in there. Which I'll get here, probably these next couple guys. Good. Ton is gonna be coming soon, so there we go, four. Now we could Zerg. This guy's gonna come through this fence here. So we could just pelt him a bunch of times. We're definitely gonna need a lot of money here, so we're gonna stay on top of that oil barrel if we can. This guy's gonna deploy. Aye, aye. Okay. Now I have lost a match. I have lost a match, so it's not like completely unheard of that you just lose, right? Let's do this. Keep these guys off my back if we can. Okay, so now what do we do? Let me think. Uh, barrel for money. Let's go and raise the money value here because we're going to start spending a lot of money once these guys get... Um... Hold on. We have a tower here to deal with. Let me get my guys kind of corralled here. Defensive positions. Nice. See that call down right there? That's what I'm talking about. Another one. Let's go raise it one more time. A little risky. A little risky, but we're good. No sandbags or anything. Yeah, big money push. Once we start racking up a whole lot of, uh... Let's see. Oh, we got da, 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 drone. We got 20 of them we could spend. Let's go and send them over. How does that work? I don't know. Click here. Oh, cool. Me. Oh, nice. Sick. <laughs> okay, we only have a vehicle coming. Hold on. Let me see. Can I time this? Here. Oh! Not enough. Oh, crap. I clicked again. <laughs> oh, God. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Nothing to see here. Good. Money. Get out of here, vehicle. Okay. Where's Tanya at? Okay, I'll just say, yeah, she's coming in a second. Okay, so let's get money. Let me see. Tactician and some of these. Okay, let's have him take... Evasive maneuvers. Get to hold it down this whole time here. And while they're doing that, let's see if we can time this on Tanya here. Damn. Again. Damn it, Tanya. Got her. Nice. Okay, now we have to clear up everything else. This is still. It's not gonna be easy, of course. We have to wait till we rank up to get this. Get these next. The next echelon of, uh, of fighters. So let's actually have this guy stand back. Can you just call in an attack from here? I know sometimes they just start attacking. Yeah. Swarm Zerg. Okay. We need the XP. We need the XP. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Bring him to us. Bring him to us. Or snipe them from here. This is cool too. Time this right here pretty well. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on. This vehicle, what's this vehicle doing? You can park next to this? Incredible. Don't want to clean this up here. Yeah, get rid of some of that. Put my poor guys. They're gonna walk into a trap. There we go. So now we should see, I think we should see these things. Advance this door, uh, cost one combat point. Oh, actually this costs combat points to, um, to unlock. Damn. Um, my bad. I forgot about that. Okay. So we're missing... Uh, let me see. We have a good amount of money. We can wait till they get close. We can go one, two, then one, two, three. There we go. Let them come here. Let them come to me. Good call. Good call down. Just want to keep them kind of corralled here. Keep walking backwards, right? When you hold this down, they go to seek cover. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock this guy. This is the sniper, so we'll get this guy out. Let's see what his range is. He should have maximum range now. Good. Oh, nice. Money. Getting lots of XP for this. I really want to see somebody. Let's get this tank out here. Get another sniper out, too. This guy's some fucking badass, actually. And then we'll do this. We'll unleash some of these guys in order to take out, uh... Actually, yeah, these guys are just doing a wonderful job just sweeping things up. Look at this. Let's get some XP, though, guys. Good. We gotta get this tank out. I understand we could probably swarm right now. We could probably get, probably just GG this whole thing right now, but... Come on. For the viewers. Uh oh, you guys gonna blow up? What happens here? You gonna walk into it? You gonna walk into it? I guess not. <laughs> you were so close. Oh man, snipers just so good. Let's get another one out there. <laughs> Walk right through that fence. Okay, all right, one more. We got a tank. It uses like three supply though, so. Uh oh. Yeah, the, the, we, we're not gonna be able to defend against the the vehicle. The vehicle moves up here. Troops, no problem. Vehicles, problem. New wave approaching. Okay, that's a big one. If he's gonna stay there, then uh, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Let's get another sniper out. Sure. We're down to two right now, so... Oh, one. Yikes. Okay, we kind of got a little... little, uh... Went a little heavy, I think, on the snipers. They're very expensive, too. Suppressive fire! Now, you can numpad these things if you want. Like, you can actually just hit the buttons for these if you want, but, uh... Um... Yeah, I'm just not set up for that kind of thing. <laughs> there we go. Take care of that. And then... Six. Come on, I need the money. I need the money. I need the money. I need the money. 150. 150. 150. 100. Get out of here. 150. There it is. There it is. And then we're just going to go and boost. Then here comes the tank. There we go. Okay, let's get some support out there money. Good. We need supply next. Try to give my boys as much support as we can. Next metal if we want to support supply. So getting two vehicles was kind of a mistake because yeah, I didn't I didn't read the uh, requirements. Supply. Let's get a sniper out. More cover here. Get this guy out of here. No. Sick. Love it. We we'll have one more of those, by the way. I think they regenerate over time, actually. Uh, let me see. Well, just, well, I'm fairly certain they regenerate over time, but I could be wrong. Maybe. Good sniping. Good sniping. Okay, so the tank's gonna just chill. That's cool. That works for me. It gives me opportunity to slowly build up my uh, my forces here. Okay, can I just wipe these dudes? Oh, never mind. <laughs> tank's all over it. Okay, this again. God, just blowing shit up. Not smoking or anything. Level 20. I can get another tank out here. <laughs> it's just, it just seems like overkill. Alright. We have plenty of time to sit here and just kind of build up resources. Although we're not gaining levels very quickly, so we're relying entirely on our barrel of oil here to carry us in terms of uh, financing. I could deploy eight, eight mercenaries, which is not a lot. Okay. With my current supply, eight mercenaries, we get one more, give me one more, one more, one more. There we go. And then, boom, and then, get them all out. 
And let's move forward. This guy's smoking a little bit. Oh, we got him already. And he reached there. Got it. So 81%. Yeah, 43%. We could try. We could try. Okay, this is our push here. This is our push. But I don't want to lose this tank. This is Zerg. Here we go. Let's go. Move in. Move in. Move in. Move in. Move in. There it is. Blam. See how easy? Probably could have done that a long time ago. But again, we wanted the tank. We really wanted the tank. You guys wanted to see the tank, right? So the enemy army strength has gone up. We got uh, some money from this. 65. We also got lots of rewards here. Woo! We got smoke grenade, we got tear gas grenade, we got small turrets, we got shield pip, but we got a heavy gunner. Yeah. Achievement unlocked. Total domination. Yeah. What else did I get? What else? That's it. Okay, continue. Achievement unlocked. Oh, another achievement. Sorry. Island instigator. Oh, yeah. Island captured. So I have completed this campaign. And then from here, it's going to move us on to the next. We keep on moving. So that's the game. Like, that's the game loop. It's, uh, it's a very satisfying, very fun simple game like it's super easy to pick up and play i actually i've already logged like four or five hours in the game um some of it's afk because typically the auto battlers like you'll get in you'll play a little bit and just leave them up come back later they're not really something you just kind of like you know head down and keep on like digging like a platformer or like an rpg or anything like that um so yeah i mean i, I do have uh, like i said you can see i just completed one one of the campaigns here so um you know so far and given, given, and also given how many different upgrades and things you could go and unlock and everything, like I still have a long way to go. Um, like it's a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Actually, does the loadout have a sliding bar? Oh, I guess I wouldn't know because I'm pretty sure it probably does. The arms dealer. Let me see. Let's grab two things I don't have. Let me see. I don't. I have that already. Uh, I have that already. Loadout. Uh, I guess I can't. I was gonna see if it's a scroll bar. It probably was actually. Um, but that's it. That's it. Game called War Pips. You can pick it up right now. Eleven dollars and ninety-nine cents. It's a freaking steal, man. Freaking steal. Solid game. Solid game. My name is Mike B. A. K. Phony. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, are the best. I'll see you.